Okay, so this is uh, I already made the the pop already. That's the made from maize, uh, corn, cornea, you know. It's pop. So it's time for the akara. This is the bean cake. I already blended it. So after blending, you know, you you put it here. So you keep turning it. Uh, so you put the salt in it. You put your salt. Okay, you put your salt, you keep beating it. Keep beating it. Mind you, we're gonna fry this. You keep beating and it so it's nice. Now I have to put the maggi. You take one maggi. So you keep beating it so it doesn't get sour. Because this maggi is from in stubborn, trying to be thick. But uh, no problem. You just keep beating air into it as you stir it. Uh, you know? Bits by bits. That was too much. Uh, so I have to clean my hands. Clean some of this. I can have to keep the kitchen a little bit clean. Then you keep. Oh my god. And I keep stirring this. I used a smaller container for this. I want to use the bigger one. And it's called. So, time to put all the spice in it. Um, what are the spice I'm putting inside this? Mm -hmm. I blended pepper in it, but of course I have to put like the regular pepper. Akara is gonna make. It's called bean cake in English. Akara in uh, Yoruba. That's my own language. Uh, good. This is crayfish. I'm gonna add some crayfish, some grated, uh, some grounded crayfish in it, just to give it the spice. Then uh, some curry. So guys, if you bring your cake again. Then time if you like, but um, I think I ran out of time, but uh, it's not a problem. And you keep stirring it, you keep beating the air into it, so it's, uh, it looks nice. Uh, I'm going to chop some, um, blend, some, slice some onions just to give it that nice taste. And also uh, slice some pepper into it. So yeah, you can just do this. I always like to crunch the, the onions while eating the akara bean cake. So, uh, depending on how how much onions you like to eat, I'm, I'm a big lover of onions, so yeah. Okay. So, I have to beat it into it. So in a moment, I think uh, in a few more minutes, I'm going to slice the pepper into it, then I have to heat it. So I'm going to turn on the heater. So this is granite oil. So this is where you're going to be frying this with. 
So you put it in your pan. It has to be quite a lot. There's enough room for the balls to fry. Yeah. I think you can, like, average heat is okay, like 4 from 10 and that's okay. So you keep stirring, just to beat bang to it, so you, you can as well test it to see how it tastes. It's tasty. So we wait for this to heat, while this heats, we're still stirring this, but I'm not satisfied with the pepper here, so I'm going to add more pepper. Okay, I'm a Yoruba demon. So Yoruba demons always like pepper. Proud Yoruba demon. That's what keeps the culture going. Don't mind how I chop my pepper. I love the pepper large in it. So. this is so the funny thing about this is the more you fry as you fry you still have to keep stirring you have to keep stirring this like you have to keep stirring it because even if you're frying and it's getting ready like once in every let's say 30 seconds to one minute you have to keep frying but I'm not gonna give it a whole detail I'm just gonna record up to the point where I'm gonna put this into the pan and fry it and see it get ready put it inside the plate and you know have a taste and also have BDX have a taste and then we can make a final decision on how this is and you can try it at home too as well all you have to do remember from the beginning you take your beans you wash your beans if it's the white beans you can actually just grind it straight to your blender or if it's the brown beans you can just wash it so, you know i didn't i didn't do that process but you can wash it get the or find a way to extract the back the, the shafts of it then you have the raw beans and put it inside your blender put your onions put your pepper put your yes those two then once it's blended, make sure it's thick, it's not watery. If it's watery, it's for moi moi. I would make a video on moi moi too as well. But that's just for the akara, which is the bean cake in English. So when you get to this point, you put your spice, your maggi, that is the, the, the spice. Let me show you what that is. I, I prefer this maggi. It's a spice actually. So you put it in there. You put your salt, you put your pepper, you put your crayfish, you put your curry, you put your thyme. You put all the spice that you use to your, your favorite spice and I think it needs some more salt. So make sure to be careful. It's a nice thing you can to You're not putting too much salt because if there's too much salt in it, you wouldn't like the you wouldn't like the taste. So yeah. Anyway, the first set we determine what else we need to add to it. Because I've tasted it to me, it's nice, but of course you know when you fry it, it's gonna it might come back with a different taste. So, let's do this now. Like I said, remember you have to put it in the air into it.
that took me after finding the the, the free fish that is not playing dead, but I couldn't find that around here. Uh, at this point, you have to remove it because it has to fry into it. It has to like fry properly, not the rush fry or the griddle fry. So these are bean cakes. Mm, I can feel it. I feel it coming. I feel it coming, baby. guys that's the first round so we are going to wait for it to like fry you can use your spatula or you can use your uh, light to turn it over when it's you know when you see it's frying to some extent you just check it like this to see just to bring it up Make sure that it forms. You see it's beginning to swell. So you see. So yeah, I think it's time for us to turn them over. can cook and uh, get ready so this is it this is obviously going to be tasty I can see all right at this point remember you still have to keep beating eggs this once in every other while just keep beating the eggs so just to give it that flavor and mind you, the color you see here is basically because of the spice that I put in it. So yeah, we have this, the bowls. <coughs> so, we are going to be taking some of this akara out of the pan. To also make sure that the, it dries from the uh, what's it called from the oil, just to ensure that there isn't too much oil in it. So let's see how this two tastes. That determines how long, how longer the others will stay on fire. If it's if it tastes to satisfaction, uh, I think it's still soft. Hmm, it tastes nice. So, guys, yeah, this is not bad. So, we just made our akara from beans. Voila! All right, guys, so we just made akara from beans, grounded beans. Like I said earlier, and you ground your beans, you wash your beans. You blend it in the blender when it's uh, ready make sure it's not too soft make sure it's not too watery you see how I'm doing it it's quite thick so what you do is you put your spice in it after putting your spice in it you fry it just like I did right here you fry it and after frying it 
you make sure that it's it cooks properly it becomes solid and here you have an example of an akarai bean cake very nice tasty trust me it's yummy mm. so mm. oh my god mind you can eat this with bread or pap akamu or what else again can you eat this with or cassava flakes that's what people call gari jebu gari you can eat it with it and what else again bread you can eat it with um something that is called a uh, echo that is um yeah it's the same thing as the pop so it depends on what you like and how you you like it you can always like you know do whatever you want to it all right guys thank you for this edition on the new section i said i was going to add to my youtube channel which is how i make some of my food because most of my food that i make you actually do make them myself so i hope you enjoyed the video drop your comments in the comment section what you want to see what you'd like to see what other food you'd like us to make and all of that so guys thank you so much and have a great time bye